What's up YouTube? Today we're going to do a series of short videos. I'm going to show you guys a few quick tricks to figure out why your 5 liter doesn't run. Seems like uh, every time I post in the forums, here's how to test your 5 liter to find out why your car doesn't start. Instead of people doing the actual tests, they just stumble around for a week asking more people why their car doesn't start. And that doesn't get the job done, folks. You're going to have to put in the hard work. So you're going to need some really expensive tools. Uh, a $12 test light from Amazon. A $12, $8 LED test light from Amazon. And uh, you don't need this, but I'm using a uh, actually a pretty nice Matco starter bumper. And then an uh, inline spark tester. Oh, he's probably uh, 10 bucks. So you spend 10, 20, 30 bucks on a couple of decent tools. They're not name brand. They're just as good. They work fine. And this is like all you need to do a whole bunch of tests on your five liter. They call this little uh, incandescent test light a scope on a rope for a reason. So without further ado, the first test we're gonna do today, will your five liter car run or have spark if it's got a bad computer so maybe you guys are thinking to yourself hey my car doesn't start um maybe it's the computer maybe it's uh the fuel pump maybe it's the coil whatever i'm gonna work through each one of these a little bit give you guys some insight into how i do it in the field so the first question is going to be will the computer cause a no spark situation well let's find out I got the key on already. I'm going to be starting this car with the old bumper over here. And there is our inline spark tester, which is just hooked up in line to the coil. So there's the coil, coil wire, and the spark tester goes in line between the coil wire, or between the coil and the distributor. Okay? So here we go. Okay, you can see that we got spark in our inline spark tester, right? Now, how do we know if the computer is part of that equation? It's real simple. I took it out of the car. There's no computer in the car and we still have spark. What does that tell you? You do not need a computer to have spark. The reason for that is these Ford TFI ignition modules are what they call a bypass ignition system. So what they do is there's a PIP sensor inside the distributor, sends a signal to the computer. The computer modifies the timing of that signal to adjust when the spark occurs and sends it back through the spout wire to the module. The module fires the coil based on when it gets a spout signal from the computer. However, if there is no spout signal from the computer, the module will create its own spout signal based on the PIP signal. Now, you might recognize the word spout, stands for spark output, and somewhere down here there's a connector for that. I don't even see it on this car. Oh, it's still taped up down there. Anyhow, there's a, uh, oh no, there it is. This is your spout connector. You can unplug this little gray dongle. All that thing is is a jumper wire that goes between the left wire and the right wire inside this thing. When you unplug this, you're disconnecting the spout wire from the computer to the ignition module. Same thing that's basically occurring when we took the computer out of the car. There is no spout signal because there's no computer to generate it. So it's literally the same as if I had unplugged that. So when the module does not get a signal from the spout wire, which will happen either if you unplug the spout connector or if you have a problem with your computer, then the module will create its own spout signal internally and fire the coil. So again, we do not need a computer to create a spark. The TFI ignition system is basically a standalone ignition system that the computer can also control if it wants to using this, a modified spout signal to adjust the timing. So uh, to be clear, there's a PIP signal inside the distributor. That's the Hall effect sensor. Um, it sends a signal to the module. The module passes that signal on to the computer. The computer modifies the timing of the signal, sends it back to the module. The module fires the coil based on the spout signal. If the spout signal is not there, the, the module generates its own spout signal 
based on the PIP signal. So PIP and spout will be the same signal. They will both occur at 10 degrees before top dead center. Normally, when everything's working, the PIP signal sends a um, the computer the PIP signal sends a signal at 10 degrees before top dead center. The computer modifies that as it sees fit and sends it back to the computer at more than 10 degrees. So that's how they're adjusting uh, spark angle or spark degrees is by changing when the PIP signal occurs. So again, PIP is always a 10 degree signal going to the computer. The computer modifies that signal, sends it back to the distributor as a spout. PIP stands for profile ignition pip pickup. Spout stands for spark output. And you don't need spout to run the car as we saw. We can crank it and have no problem. I guess my light died in the thing, but maybe that'll give you a better shot of this at night. Okay, that's it for this little short video, guys.